So it looks like you have had at least the first couple of days a, a starting group that kind of mirrored the way it was in the spring, although you've got Wyckoff at center and Swinney at guard. Um, early on, is that looking like a number one unit? Uh, I would not call any any unit close to looking like a number one unit after two practices. Um, those guys finished the spring as our best five offensive linemen. Uh, I think the guys that we brought in out of the transfer portal are really, and some of the guys that are coming back from injury, um, are really going to be able to challenge and push those guys. So now it's just going to become about consistency and the guys that execute at the highest level. A couple of new guys on the field this fall, and McDonald and Stoffel, who didn't play in the spring. Early impressions of them so far? Yeah, I've been impressed. You can tell they've played a lot of football, you know, and uh, even Braden Miller's another guy that's kind of stood out in that transfer class. I mean, those guys are uh, big, strong, athletic guys that have played football, have been at, uh, have played in big time games, and, and you can see that in the way that they practice and prepare. Do you have any candidates um, at, at left tackle beyond Mara? I don't know that I've seen a consistent number two out there. Yeah, I mean, we got with Victor and Fred coming back, we didn't have those guys in the spring. Yeah. So I feel really good about those two guys. They're just kind of playing catch up right now. Okay. So. Uh, I think by the time it's all said and done, we'll have four tackles that we that we feel good about. How would you characterize Harris' status among quarterbacks? His status? Yes. He's he's running with our third group right now. Um, another guy that has played in a lot of games. Shoot, he played in the MAC championship game last last year as the starting quarterback. So I was really impressed with him the last the first two days. I mean, it was like he was here this spring. So he, he he's picked it up quick and and he can do some things. Is he in the mix to start? I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. I mean, he's going to have every opportunity. And again, just like at every position, it's still going to come down to you know who's moving the football and, and consistently, you know, we can we can get first downs and touchdowns with. Uh, can Angles seem to welcome the competition? He's kind of talked highly of it and being able to compete with Chandler. I mean, how valuable is that to have your quarterbacks kind of willing to be like, no, we'll take on that challenge? Yeah, I think it's huge. I mean, if you're at a, if unless you, you know, started 13 games and were an all-conference, all-American guy, I mean, I would say at least half of the country right now is doing what we're doing at quarterback. So um, you've got to, there's got to be competition in every room. Uh, there's got to be somebody that pushes you and challenges you. And I think both of those guys are super mature, super uh, intelligent, and they've handled that really well. Coach Wilcox sounded genuinely excited about the receiver competition because there are so many bodies there. How have you assessed things so far? That was yeah, we have talent. We have talent, and uh, you know now it's just trying to fit those pieces, making sure that we're repping guys in some different positions. Um, and trying to build a rotation because uh, for us to do what we want to do offensively, we're going to have to play, you know, five or six receivers every game and, and feel good about those guys being on the same page with the quarterbacks. Trevor Rogers had two long uh, completions. What are you seeing out of him so yeah, far? Yeah, that was awesome to see. He can run. Yeah. All right. He's state champion track guy in the state of California. So. Uh, we knew that coming in that he could run, but going up and making contested catches and making plays, that's a that's different. So that was that was awesome to see today. Corey Dye just looks like he could be a potential kind of X factor, kind of flexible guy. I mean, what is he you know, what kind of value does he add to your offense? Yeah, Corey is Corey's a Swiss army knife. You know, you can line him up inside, outside, in the backfield, you can hand him the ball, he can block. Um, made a ton of ton of big plays for Maryland before coming here and so another guy that has played football and I just can't stress you know you can see when you bring some of these transfers in these guys have these guys have done it these guys have been on the field in big time football games and the game slows down for them they can they can take in information and digest it and then go out and execute so uh, we'll definitely be be trying to get our best 11 guys on the field and a guy that can do multiple things like that that becomes a lot more valuable do you have a general idea of how many touches you want to get out? Uh, as many as he'll take. <laughs> no, I, we'll, we'll always take care of him. Um, you know, he's he, we're going to feature him each and every week. We're going to find ways to get him the ball. Uh, we're going to find ways to move him around and not let people just always hone in on him. Uh, but, you know, I don't know what he averaged last year, maybe 20 carries a game. Uh, I'd like it to be more than that. More than 20? Yeah. No concern about overworking him? I mean, we're, obviously that's going to be on him and I, and we have a great relationship, and we communicate with each other, me, him, and AT, and 
and uh, our strength and conditioning staff, our medical staff, everybody uh, is on the same page of how we get our guys ready, how we bring them back, how we handle them in practice. You know, that yeah. that's where guys can recover throughout the week so that they can play on Saturdays. Do you look in the long term in terms of maybe not doing as much as 30 carries in early in the season, so make sure he's ready late in the season? Yeah, to be you... honest with you, I hadn't even thought about it. You know, <laughs> have not even gotten that far down the road. Um, I'm just trying to make sure we can get some first downs on day two. How much of a competition is there behind him? Obviously, there's a lot of guys that could you know, potentially contribute at that spot. Yeah, I mean, there's gonna we're gonna have to play three, four running backs um, for us to be efficient. And I, I think Jet has done a great job. I think uh, Callaway is really coming along, and it's good to have Cardwell back. So um, I feel good about that room right now, and and feel like once they all get honed in on what we're doing offensively and and start executing at a little bit of a higher level that uh, we'll have a, a good crew right there. You feel Cardwell's pretty much 100%? Yeah, he looks like it. Uh, had a breakaway run today, which was good to see. Um, and then I, I think he's just looked better every single day he's been out here. So uh, it's just him getting confident, you know, being back on the field after missing that much time. All set? Thanks, Coach. All right. Thank you.